1976 America was in a state of change. Gone but not forgotten were Vietnam and Watergate. The Cold War still loomed and weighed heavily on the minds of government figures alike. Soon approaching would be a pair of Olympic Games and a presidential election. It was the year America celebrated its bicentennial, and baseball took part in the festivities throughout the season. New uniforms, the city of brotherly love hosting the All-Star Game, and the introduction of a new annual award. Perhaps though, the most patriotic event that happened on the Diamond that year took place on Sunday, April 25th in Los Angeles. The Dodgers hosted the Cubs for an early season showdown. With one out in the bottom of the fourth inning, Chicago's Rick Monday, who was playing center field, noticed two individuals run onto the outfield grass and attempt to set an American flag on fire. Monday, part of the College World Series champion Arizona State Sun Devils in 1965, was the number one pick in the first ever MLB draft by the Kansas City A's just a few months later. More notably, he actively served in the U.S. Marine Reserve over the course of six years during his playing time in baseball. At Chavez Ravine, the 11-year veteran quickly sprung into action, running towards the assailants, quickly swiping the flag to safety before any harm can be done, and delivering it to the Dodgers' dugout. The home crowd not only gave him a rousing applause for his effort as he bounded back to his charge, he received a standing ovation as he took to the plate in the top of the fifth. Rick had three hits in a losing effort as the Dodgers won in 10 innings that afternoon, but many don't remember those small details. It was learned that one of the accused was William Thomas. His 11-year-old son, whose name was never revealed publicly, was the other trespasser, and it's unclear if their actions were part of a political protest against Native Americans, which they were reported to be, or to bring attention to the, quote, false imprisonment, unquote, of his wife in a mental institution. Some believe Thomas had mental issues of his own. He was fined, spent several days in jail for trespassing, and put on probation for one year. No one has heard or been able to unearth much information about either since. A memorable presentation in honor of Monday's bravery occurred on May 4 and was dubbed Rick Monday Day. The LA club had come to Wrigley Field to play the Cubs for a two-game series. Members of the Dodgers presented Rick with the very flag he saved just nine days prior. The treasure is still in his care. 1976 was the last season he played for the Cubs and coincidentally moved on to the Dodgers for the remainder of his career. There he would be named to his second All-Star team and be a member of three pennant winners, including the World Series champion team of 1981. Rick Monday has been honored many times for his heroic act and has toured across the country with the infamous flag he rescued 44 years ago today, helping raise over half a million dollars for military charities.